Welcome to the program. Long ago and far away, there lived a young man once upon a time. There lived a young man. His job was to see that the cow was taken care of because the family depended so much on the milk. Well, he realized one day that something was amiss. There just she just wasn't giving as much milk as she should or as she had been giving. And after a while, in studying it, the young boy, he decided that somebody or something was stealing part of the milk. And so he decided, I'll just, I, I'll stay up tonight and I'll, I'll watch the cow all night. And so he was watching the cow and about three o'clock in the morning, he saw a sky maiden sliding down a sun, a, a, a moonbeam She came on down, and as she stepped away from the moonbeam, he realized that she had a silver bucket in her hand. She went over to milk the cow, and the young boy spoke to her, and it frightened her, and she started to leave quickly and he, he he told her not to not to be in a hurry. It was no harm, and so she talked to him, and they liked each other. And he asked her to come back. She said she would. She would come back ever ever so often. And so he would be out there at night. And to his, it was to his joy he'd see her sliding down the moonbeam. Well, they got to be such close friends. They spoke of marriage, and finally she said, "Yes, I, I will marry you. I'll have to leave where I live." and be gone. I'll tell you what, she said, I will marry you if you let me go and stay a while from the country I come from. And then I'll come back. So he agreed to that. And one day she comes sliding down the moonbeam and she had a box in her hand. And she said, now, I'll marry you if you promise one thing. He said, what is it? You promise never to look in the box. So he promised her that he would never look in the box. So it was, they just slid it under the bed and there it was. 20 years later, one day, she was gone somewhere and he saw the box under the bed, the corner of it. And all of a sudden he said, I'm going to look in the box. I, I want to see what's in there. See, he opens the box and there was nothing in there. So he closed it and slid it back under the bed and she came home from wherever she had been had gone 
and she said, I'm going to have to leave you. Why? Well, because you have looked in the box. He said, well, I don't know why you're so upset about it. There's nothing in the box. She said, I have to leave you because what means everything to me means nothing to you. She left and never returned. Now I want us to picture the Lord in heaven when he took off his royal robe and laid it aside and took the crown off of his head and laid it aside and came on down into the eastern skies and allowed himself to be placed in a manger. He was looking for a bride. He was looking for a bride. Now, let's put it like this. How could we expect to go with the Lord if what means everything to Him means nothing to us? Before you turn your back on His rules, before you decide that you really don't want anything to do with holiness. What does the Bible say? Holiness without which no man can see the Lord. Oh yeah. When he died on the cross, when he said it is finished, when they allowed him to beat him, when they allowed him to mock him, Whenever he did all of that, it was because there was so much that meant so much to him. And we had better be willing to love him enough, to love him enough to love the things that he loved and loves. God bless you.